Hey, hey guys, Jay here. I've been using Mach 3 for a really long time. I use it on my little CNC router and now we're using it on the Sile X5. But it's a pain in the butt jogging the machine using the keyboard, so I bought a little wireless MPG, manual pulse generator, little pendant. I bought an XHC one, which is the same company that makes the Ethernet-based motion control card for the Sile, but it just isn't accurate. It, it'll jog the machine okay, but when you really want to start getting super accurate, say a thousandth of an inch, it's just, it's not, it just doesn't kind of correlate. You don't get one click for one thousandth. And I was watching a This Old Tony video that he made a while back and his pulse generator did the same thing and it's not uncommon. So I broke down and I bought one from Vista CNC and it's pretty amazing. And without giving it away, I'll just let you let this uh, video roll and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. This is my little Sile X5. You can see it's running Mach 3. It's got a little wine rack style tool changer and overall the machine's been working pretty good. I jogged the machine to location using the keyboard and it's a pain in the butt. And I've been swing indicating about six work offsets on one of my main fixtures. And it's really a pain in the butt to kind of fast jog the machine and then step it over, you know, a thousandth of an inch at a time. Right now it's in metric, so we'll just leave it in there for now. But I bought this XHC MPG, this, this manual pulse generator, this little pendant. And overall, a lot of it works really good. We'll hit tab. You can see that right now it's on step mode, but if you hit continuous, it goes to continuous, step goes to step. When you change all of these little settings here on the dials for the step increment, it changes accordingly. So 1.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. You would never use that in metric, but still. So 0 0.01, that's about 5 tenths for, uh, for the Imperial guys. It's a half a thou. And then you can select X, Y, and Z right here, which is fine. We'll just use X. Here's my, argu here's my problem. When you start to jog this thing, it's not accurate. So right now, it shows us at 10 thou, point, point one zero, and we're only at point zero 0.04. Point 0.20, we're at point 0.13. Point 0.30, we're at point 0.19. It's just super, it's just brutally inaccurate. It just doesn't do the job well. And so I'm gonna shut this off real quick. I broke down, I really wanted a nice pendant. I bought this one from Vista CNC, and this thing is like, oh my goodness, I can't even begin to tell you. Right here, you select step or velocity. You hit this button, so it's 0 0.01. And so let's just see how accurate this one is. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I went too fast. Seven, eight, nine. So, okay, so we're at 10. So let's see if we get 10 more clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. This is dead accurate. This thing is absolutely amazing. And so it's got an E stop. It's got X, Y, Z and ABC if you have that. It's got step and velocity. So if you choose velocity, you can just jog the machine. The faster you jog it, the faster it responds. You can set your work coordinates. There's, you can zero out the machine. You can start and stop the spindle. So you, you hit the spindle button, and then you hit this right here. And the spindle comes on. Hold this. I started it and stopped it on accident, but you get the idea. This thing is now 120 bucks, almost 300 bucks. There's no comparison in price, but I'll tell you, if you have a Mach 3 if you have a machine that you're using for business and you're running Mach 3, if you're running a CNC router and you don't have to set work offsets accurately or if you don't have to jog the machine, if you only have to jog the machine to within a, you know, a hundred thousandths or a millimeter or so, then it doesn't matter. Use an Xbox controller, use one of these cheap XHC controllers. But if you're doing precision work and you need to hold, you know, sub 1,000 accuracies and you're setting work offsets with extreme precision, then by far, man, go check out this Vista CNC. They didn't. I bought this. I paid cash. I'm not I'm not sponsored. There's no there's no uh, conflict of interest here. I'm just calling it like I see it. So, hope you guys like this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.